I wasn't ready because I was still doing some things, especially for gospel. So it was after this, I said, okay, God, I'm still going to be able to sing. He said, yeah, but not like you used to. Wow. Now I got to work. I got to practice. Before, I didn't have to practice. Just, I'm not lying. I was, yeah, I'm kind of arrogant with it, too. Now I'm humble. I'm, I'm like, I get it. Yeah. It's called the power of worship. That's what you're saying. That's what you're hearing. Yeah. I don't want you to see me. I used to. Look at me. Look at me. I want you to feel God because I can't help you, sister. I'm still going through it. So that's, that's what I'm really wanting to do with my music. Hello everyone, my name is Prophetess Deanna Dixon. I am a gospel recording artist, and this is my official day at Patchwork, you guys. Yes. God is blowing the spirit of revival all over this earth. Can you feel it? I am from a little town called Abbeville, Louisiana. Um, it's like maybe 30 minutes from Lafayette, Louisiana, probably from an hour from New Orleans. I love, enjoy creating um, music that makes you laugh, make you smile, but most of all, make you think about that you can win. Today we're facing so many things in this world and people need motivation. They need positivity, they need love, they need healing, they need deliverance. And so that's what I love doing, that type of music, healing. When I think about Stevie Wonder, um, you know, and I know they're secular artists, but at the same time, I, you have to think about the music, James Brown. So Cleveland, um, Mr. Cleveland, um, he sung so much with passion. And so I, I love people that touch your soul. There are so many, but the main one is Mahalia Jackson. When she sang, you felt that thing. When she sang, people were healed. When she sang, people were delivered. And so there's been a lot of artists that I really love. So there's so many to name. So the message throughout my music is that of don't give up. There are so many things in this thing called life, our journey that would deter you, that would make you want to give up, even commit suicide, I've seen it. And so my music, it won't, and when you hear it, I want you to be inspired. I want you to know that um, I can make it again. I can, I can survive, I can win, I can thrive. So my music is to lift you up. Hold oh, your head up. Is this comfortable for you? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been having a relationship with Pac worked since 2012. I love the way that um, the engineers handle the music and handle myself as well. Very professional and caring and, and really just guide you into what the project you want to give to it, you want to bring to it. So I, I just love Patchwork. I am working on, uh, actually, I finished one of my songs, I want to fall in love with Jesus Christ, but I want to kind of like make it more full, more spiritual to where at the ending there's a twist. Also, I have a new song that I'm getting ready and it's called, I'm a Conqueror. So just want to give it to people so they can understand that you are a conqueror and you can win. You will survive. Because okay. his, the music that God gives me, he wants me to encourage people. You know what I'm saying? Music is such a powerful medium. That's what's happening in this world today, whether we like it or not. We ain't got to break up nothing because you might have your opinion, you might have your opinion. But music will touch you, heal you, or destroy you. you know, I like y'all don't know what I'm saying. But I'm saying it with all due respect. You know what I'm saying? I never profess to be the best singer. But I'm going to do like they did in the, uh, and Johnny Gill did in the new edition movie. You give me a beat, I'm going to bring the spiritual hit. <laughs> I come from, like I said, a small town, Abbeville, Louisiana. And just to be honest with you, it's very poverty stricken there. So we're taught, hey, go after the money, go after the bag. If I can talk to my younger self, I would say, continue in morals and integrity and honor. Respect yourself. Don't sell out in any form, any part of your life. Understand that the money's going to come. Just be true to you. So many people are not true to themselves. I just want that dollar. I just want to survive. I just want to have success. But losing their soul and their spiritual true self, don't do that. My end goal, whew, I would really like to touch the nations. I would really like to touch people. Um, you know, let's just be real. I think when we first start on any journey, I'm going to be a star. I'm going to be this. I'm going to be that. Now I'm 53 years old. If I can just touch one soul, if I could save one person, if I could help one person, 
I think that's it. You know, if God bless me with bigger, hey, I'm, I'm all for it. But if they can just see through my music that Jesus Christ heals, delivers, and he loves you. Well, you can follow me on Instagram at Prophet is Deanna Dixon. That's P-R-O-P-H-E-T-E-S-S-D-E-A-N-N-A-D-I-X-O-N. I'm also on Facebook as Prophet is Deanna Dixon. On YouTube as Apostle because, you know, well, it's a long story, but just go with it. Apostle Deanna Dixon. And that's A-P-O-S-T-L-E-D-E-A-N-N-A-D-I-X-O-N. And I'm on all media outlets as far as Spotify, iTunes. So you can find my music anywhere.